Welcome back to Shems. The forms are built and ready. Today, we'll begin pouring concrete right after we go over a few things in regards to passing inspection. Today is the day, guys. We are ready for pouring the concrete. What's done? Let me show you. So you can see it all bolts. It's in the place. Um, some bolts has an arrow because it's it's holding uh, structurally bedding walls. So we have here from this point to their point, we have shear wall. So I can show you here. You can see it arrow here, right there. This is how you need to place it. Right here, this rebar is for electrical panel. It's going to be ground, uh, 20 feet long. Or you can use uh, number four ground, solid copper ground you can use. From crawl space, I have to have it minimum 18 inches. From bottom, from outside of the house, I have eight inches from ground. The reason why we're using this technique, the step technique, okay, it saves more money. Because if I grow my pony wall all the way to here four feet, it's going to be a lot of money. I can say it's going to be two trucks more just at this area, okay? So it's a it's couple grand. To not expense the forms, we have brackets. You can see it right here. And approximately I like use around two and a half, three feet. The more you, you prepare yourself, it's going to be more easy for you. All trenches have to be clean. All forms have to be done. All bolts have to be in a place, not in a bucket or in your car. All hangers have to be in a job site. You can see it also, the, all my piers right here. I have, here I have four and here I have five inside in the house. I have rebar, I have piers in the job site. So when you call inspection, this stuff has to be in the job site. So the all pierces six feet between the deepness 18 inches minimum, 24 by 24, and rebar crossing. All rebar cannot touch the ground, okay? Around it and the bottom. Bottom we are using Adobe. Adobe blocks, it's selling by the pack. You can buy it, any Home Depot, any hardware has it. So Adobe, remember Adobe. And let me show you here a couple things. So what we have, we have sewer, Right here, four inches sewer coming up inside to the house. And here will be have it subfloor. Right here we have three quarters domestic water. Okay, this is for house. And right here you can see it we have fire line also inside of the house. And it's two inch, increases one inch. Right here, this is important. Emergency shut off valves right here. Again, all trenches all clean up. Have to be clean from roots, from exposed dirt, have to be clean up. Definitely we did it compaction. You can see it down in the video. We have compaction done. And I still like put put water. Sometimes, like let's say in the evening with my boys gone, I just take the hose and just go around the perimeter around the trenches and just put a little bit water. Okay, so we ordered a boom pump, 32 meter, five section Z. It's a pump for pumping concrete straight into your foundation forms. Sam Nelson, the owner of this machine, will tell us all about this setup. I'm Sam Nelson. I'm the owner of uh, Psalm 127 Enterprises. Uh, this is uh, my concrete boom pump. The first thing I do when I come on site is I find a nice level area, make sure we get everything level get the outriggers out, set those up, make sure it's nice and stable. There's a lot of weight on the front, more so than the rear. These are really important to have these outriggers um, nice and stable on firm footing. Uh, these wood platforms, these are outrigger pads. It just, it, it spreads the weight out uh, a little bit more on the ground. If it, if I was to just set just the 
the outrigger foot down into the dirt, it would, it would sink. All right. This here is uh, the remote to operate not only the pumping, but also the boom. So we can, we can move the boom anywhere on site within that 32 meter radius. And, uh, and then start, stop pumping. Um, there's a volume control, there's a, a speed control, so you can bring the RPMs up if we need to pump faster and with more power. Once I'm all set up and I got my, my outriggers nice and solid, we know we're not gonna be sinking, and then we go ahead and get the boom up and out over the job site, figure out where we're gonna get started. Then, um, you know, the, the mixer truck shows up, fills up the hopper, these guys are ready to go. Then we go ahead and, and start priming. For this house, we ordered five trucks of concrete. Each truck delivers nine yards, and as far as concrete requirements, always follow the plans where the engineer specifies the blend of your concrete, because not all concrete is the same. We fill the forms and footings using the boom pump. As we pour, we also adjust the rebar and vibrate the concrete with a concrete vibrator so that it fully settles in and consolidates. The pier blocks, bolts, and hangers are placed as specified in the plans. Then we smooth the concrete surface and we're done. Once the concrete cures, all the boards are removed and we move forward to the next step. Thank you for visiting Shams again, and we'll see you next time.